This video is going to be on the main causes of neutropenia. And there, there are many different causes of neutropenia, but the, the two most common are inflammation and decreased production. So we're going to focus on those two causes in this video. Uh, this slide is going to show inflammatory neutropenia. Okay, so with inflammatory neutropenia, there is intense inflammation in the tissues, and this demand for neutrophils is so great that the neutrophils are entering the tissues and exiting the blood at a much higher rate than the bone marrow can produce and release. So the bone marrow is still working, it just can't meet or exceed the demand in the tissues. So with inflammatory neutropenia, demand exceeds production. To help you identify inflammatory neutropenia, you look for a left shift, which means there'll be banned neutrophils in circulation or earlier forms. And you can look for signs of neutrophil toxicity. The second cause of neutropenia that I'll talk about is decreased production. Um, and that's pretty much what it sounds like. The bone marrow fails to produce enough neutrophils uh, to meet the peripheral demand. So you essentially have hypoplasia, so there can be production but it's just decreased, so there is some production. Or you can have complete aplasia, so no neutrophils are being produced at the level of the bone marrow. And for uh, to diagnose a decreased production neutropenia, you're going to look at what the other cell lines are doing. A selective decreased production neutropenia without decreased production of other cell lines is fairly uncommon. Usually it's more of a generalized bone marrow disease. So you will look for a decreased production of platelets um, and an anemia, which will be non-regenerative. Um, and then you're also going to rely on your history. So has the animal um, been exposed to toxins like chemotherapy, estrogens, estrogens, or phenylbutazone that is known to directly injure the bone marrow and cause hypoplasia? Or does the animal um, have a leukemia? So it, are there neoplastic cells that are growing in the bone marrow and replacing the normal hematopoietic elements and causing decreased production of those? Um, and then also some infections can cause it, like chronic Ehrlichia canis infection, histoplasmosis in cats, less commonly in dogs, an FELV infection in cats. Um, so with decreased production neutropenia, unless you see evidence of leukemia on a blood smear, you really have to look other places to figure out why there's decreased production.